In this video, we're going to give you a few tips to set up your Log10 logbook for maximum efficiency. When you first open Log10 and tap Flights and Duties to enter your first flight, you'll be asked to select your typical role. This will set up the default fields in Log10 typically needed for that role. For this example, we'll choose Airline First Officer. Our first flight is ready to go. We'll allow Log10 to use our location while using the app so that we can enter our to and from airports with a single tap. Now, Log10 is totally customizable and has hundreds of additional fields you can add to track exactly the data you want to track. To customize Log10 to your flying, tap the Actions button in the top right. Here you'll notice a number of options to save time, with the Next Leg, Return Trip, or Duplicate Flight options. Instructors can sign the flight, or you can share the flight with your co-pilot or between student and instructor, so only one pilot has to log the flight. It's a great opportunity for rock, paper, scissors. Speaking of students and instructors, alongside being a first officer, we're also doing some instructing. So we'll customize our logbook by tapping Configure Fields, then Configure Section in the Time section, and add Dual Given. We'll also add Student to the Crew section. This will enable us to filter all our flying for each of our students. It's important to note that whether a field is visible or not, any data entered historically is always kept in the database, so turning off a field does not lose the data contained in that field. Before we log our first flight, we'll also check we have the settings we want for our logbook. To check these, tap Account and then Settings. Tapping My Logbook, we can see that this is where we can change our typical role. We can also enter pay rates to have Log10 automatically calculate our pay. Going back to Settings and choosing Time Calculations, We'll check our auto-fill choices, and we can see that as a first officer, Log10 is calculating and auto-filling our night time. Please note that for this to work, you must be entering out and in times. Log10 is also auto-filling SIC with the total time as well as cross-country. We'll also turn Show Clock Time Auto-Fill buttons to On. This displays Now buttons on our flights, which enables one tap to fill in the current time. Finally, tapping on Display Options, we'll set our time format to hours decimal, and as we're flying under FAR 117 regulations, one last thing to do is turn Show FAR 117 Limits to On. OK, we're ready to log the flight. One final tip as we're logging our first flight is to ensure we're inputting aircraft types correctly. To choose from the database, we'll tap Aircraft Type, then pull down to reveal the search bar, tap in the search bar, and then choose all types. Then we can start typing and choose the aircraft from the list. This will ensure all details of that aircraft are entered correctly, and this will ensure Log10 calculations are 100% accurate. Of course, if you need help setting up your logbook, or indeed any other questions about Log10, you can contact our fantastic support team by tapping Contact Support under the Accounts menu. For more tips and tutorials, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or click on one of these videos to keep watching now. Thanks for watching.